हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्वालिटी फूड सेफ्टी 101 दिस इज अरसलान टुडे इज अ वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट डे फॉर आवर चैनल फ्यू मंथ्स बैक व्हेन आई स्टार्ट दिस चैनल द ओनली विजन आई हैड वाज दैट वी शुड क्रिएट गुड फूड सेफ्टी कंटेंट व्हिच इज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट फॉर एवरीबॉडी एंड सो दैट एवरीबॉडी कैन गेन नॉलेज अबाउट फूड सेफ्टी एंड फूड क्वालिटी द फर्स्ट प्लेज व्हिच आई डिड वाज टू डू अ बेसिक फूड सेफ्टी ट्रेनिंग फॉर ऑल and today is the last video of that training and the topic for today is pest management in this whole journey of basic food safety we started with the introduction to food safety covered the hazards contamination multiplication and all other kind of topics covering cleaning personal hygiene and other things as well today is the last topic as i said pest management this is a big milestone for us why because this marks the end of one of the playlist which will continue or which will stay in our channel to be accessible for everybody and it will contain all the basic food safety topics which is 10 topics in total after this we will start the next playlist which will be about hasm so let's start to this topic pest management in the topic of pest management let's first understand what are pest or food pest food pests are those animals or birds or insects which can live in or on our food for example cockroaches cockroaches can live inside our food and they can also consume our food and start growing in the food so this is an example of a food pest another example of a food pest are mice which can eat our food as well as live in our food and make nest in our food as well so food pests are a threat to our food businesses as they can contaminate the food due to multiple resources for example they can do uh, breeding in the food they can lay eggs in the food and also they can do droppings in the food which are all sources of contamination their bodies are filthy and have a lot of microorganisms which which they carry from one place to other they can leave those microorganisms on food surfaces as well as they can leave microorganisms inside the food due to all these reasons and high chance of contamination we need to control food pest so in today's video we will talk about what are the major types of food pest we'll also talk about how to control them and what are the different levels of controls so food pest can be of many types let's me give you some common examples one of the examples is rodents like rats and mice insects like flies cockroaches then birds and dogs and cats can also be food pests so all of these food pests can contaminate the food and uh, cause huge problems in the food businesses so when we talk about controls of food pest a lot of people think about pest contractors or electric fly killers Yes these are controls of food pests but before that we need to talk about preventive controls there are two types of preventive controls for food pests one is to prevent access and the other is to do good housekeeping so let me give you some examples about these things first and then we'll go to the other third type of control which is the eradication of the pest so number one control is to prevent access in order to prevent access we need to do proofing like mashes uh, on the windows covering under the doors and leaving no gaps uh, to allow the pest to enter then all the windows and doors must be kept closed and they should be in good repair the corners should not be broken so that the pest should not be allowed to enter then all the main holes and the walls should be maintained effectively and there should be a mesh covering so that the cockroaches or anything should not be allowed to enter to do these things these are all the techniques to prevent access uh, of the pest another important thing to prevent access is to check deliveries a lot of times within the deliveries from the suppliers within the cartons there can be cockroaches ants and other pests coming in so we need to check those deliveries and if such delivery arise or if such cases happen then those deliveries must be rejected and sent back to the suppliers so this is the control of Uh, pest with regards to preventing access the second topic is about good housekeeping 
which is inside the premises of the food business. Let me give you some examples about that. So with regards to good housekeeping, cover the food. This is the number one control for pests. If the food is covered properly in a pest proof container, the pest will not be allowed, uh, able to enter that uh, food area or food itself. Then clean as you go. All the spillages, all the food droppings should be clean as soon as possible. Do not leave food open outside. Do not store food on the floor. It should be above, above the floor and away from the wall. This is a rule in the storage uh, segment. Then uh, all the area which are the refuse areas, the waste areas must be keep clean and tidy and there should be proper pest management in those areas as well. Let me show you a video from FSA, Food Standard Agency of UK, which talks about these controls in more clarity. So let's look at that video. It is essential that you keep pests out of your premises. Pests spread harmful bacteria and cause damage. It is important to check regularly for signs of pests. Look for damaged packaging, droppings, live or dead insects. Throw away any food which could have been touched by pests. You should also wash and disinfect any surfaces which may have been touched by pests. A torch can be useful to help you check properly. No pests have been found today. If you do find evidence of pests, call your pest contractor immediately. So as you saw in this video, the number one thing for a food handler is to survey the area for the signs of pest. And this video have already covered the signs of pest. Then if there are signs of pest, then we need to do actions with regards to controls as we have discussed about pest proofing and prevention of access and also about the housekeeping. The third type of control is eradication of pest. This is done through the help of a pest contractor who will set up the traps and the, uh, you know, the eradication techniques will be set up by the contractors. Some of the eradication techniques are physical and some of them are chemical techniques. Physical techniques are those which will catch the pest dead or alive, like a trap, like an electric fly killer or a mouse trap. In both these cases, the pest is caught in a, in a cage or in a tray in case of a fly and it cannot end up into the food, that's a good control. Physical controls are always more welcome because the pest cannot escape. On the other hand, the chemical controls are those controls which will kill the pest, but we don't know where will the pest go. For example, if we spray a chemical, the rat or the flies will die, but they might not die instantly. And after some time during their death process, they can end up into the food itself or on a, or in an area which is hard to access and afterwards they will cause a smelling so first try to do physical control and if there is a need then we do chemical control but all of both these controls are part of eradication control and they are due to the help of pest contractor for this we need a good and approved pest contractor so that our food is not chemically contaminated so this covers the full video of the pest management on the basic food safety training we have covered what are the food pests and what are types of the food pests and then what are the three types of controls of the pest which is preventing access, good housekeeping and eradication. Hope this video helps you. This completes the full playlist of basic food safety as I mentioned at the start of this video. This full playlist will be always available on the channel Quality Food Safety 101. Subscribe to the channel, share the playlist to everybody who needs to understand food safety on the basic level. As I mentioned, I will be next going on to the topic of HACCP and we will talk about the general concept of HACCP and hazard analysis and other things in regards to HACCP. If this content is good for you and is helping you, please subscribe to the channel. Share the videos to everybody because if we share, we increase the knowledge and this is free knowledge for all. Like and share the video. Thank you. See you in the next one.